Hello guys, it's Margaret Death here, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. So, I'm going to see if I can finish this up tonight. It's actually been a few days since I uh, previously recorded. Um, I, have, I haven't been uploading, and I need to do that, so I'll be doing some uploads. Hopefully I can get this done tonight or tomorrow. I do have tomorrow off. Um, I unexpectedly had to go to work for the week. They changed my schedule last minute, but... I'm going to work, which is why my schedule has been kind of hoop de doop de where are we going, whatnots, stuff. So, yeah. And I think I want to head here. So, we'll have Star After take us down. Did I buy Mads Repels? I think I did all my purchasing last time. Okay, let me see who I got in the front here. Um, the Porion. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll do. And I just realized I went to the wrong place because I wasn't thinking. I need to go. Heart, Heart Home City is where I need to go. This is where I need to go if I was going to go to Snow Point City, which we've already done and beaten. And I think this is the place where I got my Eevee. You can find Eevee in the Great Marsh area too, but. Uh, no, at like the end of the Great Marsh area. But. Um, I think it's like in the Pokemon Mansion or something. But it's only on a certain day you can find Eevee. It's not always a guarantee. Alright. Let me see if I can get a Matipel working. Ooh. Got like some... I feel like I'm gonna burp. I just had dinner. So, kind of like dinner, then get into this. Get a Max Repel. You have enough Max Repels to last me the rest of the game. And I think I bought a bunch of revives and hyper potions and full heals and whatnot. So I think I'm good for most of the game. And let me go up over here. And here. You surf. Yeah, now that we have surf and uh, rock climb, we can cover a lot of distance in this place because this is where we need to go to face Team Plasma. Now, even though we've uh, gotten the legendary Pokemon's release, they still got the red chain or whatever it is that they need. To call upon uh, Dialga and Pokia. Pokia, yeah. We'll go with that. So, we do have to do some Team Plasma fights, or not Team Plasma, uh, Team Galactica fights. We'll be fighting Team Plasma later in uh, Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 when I get back to that, which is after I finish this game. And we get a Red Shard, which is. It helps for fire moves. It's not too big of a deal as of right now. Uh, there's a boulder. Yes, use Ludgerator to strength to push this boulder. Come on, Ledgery. Um, okay. Is there an item down? There it is. And my repel wore off. Yeah, I do like Black 2 and White 2 because when your repel wears off, it tells you in, like, oh, do you want one right now? It's like, sure. And we got another escape rope, which I bought a bunch anyways, so I don't really need them that bad. What? What's out here? I don't know if I'm supposed to be going out here. Oh, no, okay. I don't need to be going out here, but... It's nice to. I get a timer ball. And then someone asked me if I was going to use uh, the master ball to catch the legendary Pokemon, which is like Glade. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, I will be. Just because I'm not going to try to catch it with the Pokeball. It's useless because I'm going to catch it with the master ball, and then I'm not even going to use it for the game. And I'll probably won't be playing this either again or for a long time anyways, and then I'll probably want to start a new game. So there's no point in me wasting the time to try to catch it in a regular Pokeball or a Great Ball or Ultra Ball when I can just use the Master Ball. And we get TM80 Rock Slide, which is actually a team I really wanted, but now I realize I have to get rid of something. Um, I don't know who I want to give this to either. It's a good TM to have. I mean, it really can cripple Flying Tights, Bug Tights. It's really good. Um, so I'd, I, I've had a... I would have to give it to Infernape or Garchomp. I'd rather give it to Garchomp, but it doesn't have any moves as of right now I can get rid of. So, I may just hold on to it or never use it. Either way. Now, if we came up here before uh, we fought Team Plasma, there would actually, that cave right there would uh, be blocked off and we could not progress any further. But, someone had broken down the barrier that was, blo that was blocking the cave. So, and the detective's like, oh, there's a hole there. It looks like someone broke the painting and went through. Okay, well, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Thank you, detective. Oh, and I did boost the audio because a lot of people were like, where's the audio? And I guess it just wasn't loud enough, so... 
Not my vo not my commentary audio, the uh the game audio, so I boosted that up. If it's too loud I'll turn it down, but I think my voice should overpower it. Uh that's one of the issues with the emulators, they can uh, be a real pain in the butt sometimes. Um uh, I'm not sure what's down here. I'm not gonna really go exploring. I'll take a quick look and Okay, don't wanna go there. Use the match pal. I'll take a quick look. A star piece, which is like 5,000 Pokebucks, so yay! Nothing else? Alright, well, we're out of here then. Mount Coronet. Up, oh, Team Plasma! Alright, come on, let's skip your dialogue and let me kick your ass real quick. Skunky, uh, you surf. And that takes care of Team Galactica. Well, that grunt at least. There's probably gonna be tons of grunts, yep! These grunts don't really stand a chance. I mean, I'm just oh Murkrow, huh? Um, Ice Beam. Bye Murkrow. Yeah, these guys are they're they're nothing at this point. I mean, I guess they're okay if you're you should be about level 40 or 50. Uh, no, you should be about mid to high 40s at this point. The only reason I'm not is because I like to grind in RPG games. I knew about the grinding and I know. I know it helps a lot. I play a lot of RPGs, so I'm very prepared when it comes to needing to be aware to grind. So, I mean, most people that play Pokemon are just like, yeah, you know, uh, I'm about the level I need to be, but most Pokemon games I'm overpowered and overleveled, which is fine by me. It makes my life a little bit easier. I usually grind off screen, anyways, so. Either way, I like the grinding. The grind is fun. Uh, can I come in through here? No, I don't believe I did. Uh, I we don't have waterfall yet, so I can't climb that. So I wonder if I can surf across and go out through that cave. I hope so, because we don't get waterfall until after we beat the last gym. We'll pour on you, surf. No, okay. So I do need waterfall, and there there appears to be another entrance that'll take me up anyways. So I'll go through there if I can find it. My repel's worn off. Use a max repel. I'm gonna see if I can get Infernape uh, Thunder Punch after this, if I can remember. Just because it will be very helpful. Yeah, okay, this is the cave I need to go through. Yeah, you can get kinda lost, but yeah, you do need Rock Slide, and I would recommend Rock Smash. I don't think you need it, but it's recommended. And then I know you need Strength for sure. Strength and uh, Rock Slide is for sure. Hound Hour, sir. Bye, Hound Hour. Houndour is not a bad Pokemon, now there's Houndoom in this. I was going to use Houndoom, but I already have a fire type, so there's no point in me having it. Uh, I'll keep the Porygon out just for this battle, and then I'm going to switch switch it up for Roserade in a second here. Because, well, Roserade needs to hit the 60s. Then after that, I think I'm just going to use Infernape and overpower everything for the rest of the game. Since my Infernape is going to be pretty powerful. My friend Nate's gonna be a real bastard to deal with for most people. I don't even think he'll go down, and if he does, it's just dumb luck. Battle Dance. And Roserade is super powerful right now, just because it's got really high special attack. Confused, right, huh? Uh, let's hit with the Sludge Bomb. Okay, that takes care of that battle. Yeah, I knew Roserade was gonna be pretty powerful. I expected that. No, nothing there. Anything down here? Up, oh, yep, the other to the cave. And I think if we... We can go in there later, as of right now it's not very important. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a cave on the side at the bottom there. Um, we have to come back after we beat the game, which I won't be doing post-game stuff for this, because there really is no... There's not so much to do in the post-game, and the post-game bores me, so... I'm not going to worry about post-game stuff. I usually don't do any Pokemon post-game stuff. Um, I don't think I... I think I might have done it for Black 2 and White 2 when that first came out, but... I'm not usually big on doing post-game stuff. Uh, Hound Hour lets you Sludge Bomb. That should be effective. Yep. At least I have something that works against fire types. Sucker Punch, huh? Doesn't Sucker Punch cause flinching? Oh no, that's a uh, fake out. Yeah, Sucker Punch just doubles its attack power as long as the Pokemon is using an attack. And I think if I go first... No, Sucker Punch... I'm sorry. Sacrifice doubles the attack if it, the Pokemon was already attached previously. Sludge Bomb. 
critical hit, but not very effective. Bye bye. Mount Coronet. And we have. Yeah, we're getting close to the top of Mount Coronet. I'm actually going through the slot faster than I thought I would. Uh, another gold bat. Wow, these people have a lot of gold bats. I think one sludge bomb should do it. No. Um, Giga Drain? Alright. I guess that works. Program. Let's just try cut. Yeah, I kind of figured cut won't do too much. That's one bad thing about Team Plasm. They have a lot of poison types, so it can be hard for a grass type to level up. But, it's fine. Yeah, we're at the end here. And we have two Team Plasma Grunts. Our boss is up ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, these guys want an epic duel. Alright, let's see what you guys got. Um, I'm just gonna use Petal Dance and Surf. I may have to use Giga Drain after Surf. Yeah, okay, it's not that effective. I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, let's just use Ice Beam. Oh, I was gonna use Giga Drain for Roserade, but that didn't happen. That's fine. Yeah, those guys weren't too... Okay, so now we can pass, repel war off, but that's not that big of a deal, because we won't have to deal any more po with any more Pokemon. And now we have to fight, I believe, Mars and Jupiter, which are our, the commanders. Oh, but James is going to back us up. So we'll have a double battle here, but James will be on our side, which is nice. And I think this is the last time we have to fight Mars and Jupiter. I'm not sure about the other one. Commander Mars and Ken yeah. So they both start off with Bronzer, level 44. And James has a Munchlax. Now, we're not exactly ready for this fight. Munchlax can't really do anything against a Steel Psychic. And they're kind of Grass type. I'm going to see if I can get some HP off. Um, I have to use Grass moves because Steel types are not affected by nor or uh, Poison type moves. Reflect. Okay, that just boosts their defense. Oh, and Light Screen. Wonderful. Now their special defense. So they are basically taking half damage for everything. And Munchlax totally failed. I'm just going to use some Giga Drain to see if I can get some health back, even though it's not going to be much. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, Existential, which is a Psychic move, which is going to hurt Roserade, which is a Poison type. Poison Grass type. Wow, that didn't do shit for Super Effective. Oh, but I'm going to get double hit anyways. How about Munchlax? Munchlax, can you do some fucking work here? Oh, thanks for the stockpile, you piece of shit. Oh, but... Oh, it's Defense Rose and Special Defense. Alright, let me use a Giga Drain. See if I can get some health back and take one of them out so I won't take as much damage. You better die, you bronze. You... Are you... You didn't die? Oh, okay, yeah, you did. Fucking bronze, you piece of shit. And that's just that where it hurts Roserade. I think Roserade's probably gonna die, but mm, mostly because this Munchlax can't do a fucking thing. It's that boost its defense, you piece of shit. Skunk Tank, um, Poison Dark type, I believe. I'll use Giga Drain on it. What the hell? There we go. Let's see if I can get some. Yeah, I'm not getting shit out of that. Flamethrower! Oh yeah, that's right, you can learn Flamethrower, I forgot about that. Wow, Roserade's re Oh, nope, Roserade's dead. Or it's gonna have 1 HP left. Either way. Yeah. Alright, bye Roserade. Who can I send out? Wow, you are such a piece of shit, Munchlax. James, how about you have your Munchlax use something that's actually useful? I have Infernape come out and deal with this. Um, a flamethrower on Bronzer. Five Bronzer, piece of shit. Okay, well that takes care of that. And smoke bomb on much last. All right, well that's the best thing that's probably happened. I gotta take out that skunk tank. 
It's a dark poison type, so a fighting move should be pretty effective against it. Oh good, reflected light screen wore off. That makes my life a little bit easier, I guess. Um, no. Yeah, I'll use close combat on Skun Tank. Close combat's probably overkill by a lot, but eh, it's fine. I think. Alright, bye Skun Tank. That should be super effective, right? I think it's gonna take is a dark poison type. I don't know how fighting moves. I guess it's not super effective. Air cutter! Awesome. Stupid gold bat. Wow, that. Whoa! Oh, okay, critical. Wow, that got double critical? That's kinda lucky. Jupiter sent out gold bat. I'm gonna take out Jupiter's gold bat just so she won't have any Pokemon left. I'll hit it with a flamethrower and call it good. Hopefully call it good. Haha, uh -huh. bye Golbat. And air cutter. I swear if he gets a critical again, I'm gonna be pissed. Seriously? Wow, that's horseshit. That thing better get fucking paralyzed. I can't believe that thing's gonna almost took out Infernate. God damn. Bye, bitch. Fucking Golbat, you piece of shit. Bye, Golbat. Go suck a dick. This battle's actually been a lot harder than I thought it would. Oh, hey, look at that. Let's see how close combat works. I swear God, if he uses Fake Out. Okay. Yeah, I thought I was gonna use Fake Out and kill my, my Infernape, but I'd be like, Fuck you, dude. Bye, Pergy. Yeah, my defense fell. Oh, that's probably why I was taking so much damage, too. I did use a close combat and lower my defense. And Mars and Jupiter were defeated. They probably didn't give me jack shit for money. Oh, they gave defense.